Salvage Works has been a part of the Kenton neighborhood for more than a decade. General Manager Rachel Browning says the area has changed a lot. Our female staff uh, were threatened by men with weapons three Saturdays in a row. And by no means are those isolated incidents. In the last month or so, bartenders at the Kenton Club were robbed at gunpoint twice, and somebody was shot and killed at Kenton Park, not far from Parkside Restaurant and Bar. It's just all very shocking and a little traumatizing for sure. Parkside owner Angela Connell opened her doors Monday night to give the community space to write letters to city leaders. They're asking for a citywide expansion of Portland Street response, not to mention funding for new lighting and cameras, among other things. We've just been trying to figure out how we can as a community come together and take action and be here to support one another. So we are asking the city to give us emergency funds. The three hour event was well attended by business owners and neighbors alike. I am here to represent my community and try to get some changes made here. So too is Rachel Browning of Salvage Works. She says she's never felt as unsafe in Kenton as she does now and that needs to change. Small businesses are suffering already from the pandemic, including most, you know, including our business, including bars and coffee shops and restaurants, and this doesn't help. In addition to that letter writing at the Parkside restaurant and bar, some of the proceeds from the sale of food and drinks will be going to Neighbors Helping Neighbors, an organization that works with the houseless community. I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.